my name is Paul from Opace and today we're going to look at creating color swatches for your Magento products. So the first thing to do is to go to stores and attributes and click on product. From in here find the color attribute. When that's loaded look for the drop down catalog input type for store owner and change that to visual swatch. When you've done that at the bottom you can see the manage swatches section. Click add new swatch. Here you can either set a color or upload an image. I'm going to set, set a color and I'm going to set a purple color. I'm also going to create a blue color. You can add as many as you want here, but for now we'll just add two. Save that attribute. When that's saved, go to the products and catalog section. And click add product. When that's loaded, you want to just enter some details about your product. So here we're going to create a t-shirt and set the usual kinds of details. Once you've done all of them, you want to scroll down to the configurations section and click the create configurations button. From the first step here, you want to select that color attribute that we've just, we've just edited. As you can see, it's the only thing here at the moment. On the second step, you want to select all the colors that are applicable to this product. So we're going to select all of them for now. And then on the next step, you want to select whether or not you want to upload individual images for each color, which we're going to do here. So now I've got a purple and a blue t-shirt. Now I'm just going to set the price, because the price is the same for each t-shirt, we'll set standard price. But I'm going to have different quantities for each. So I've only got I've got a hundred t-shirts for purple but only fifty for blue. And then we'll click next and it will show me a summary of that. And then when we click next it will save it. As you can see here. Um, you might want to upload a default image for the product. It's probably a good idea. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and save the product. Here you just want to add that attribute to the default attribute set that you're using for this product. So just leave that first one checked. Once the product's saved, you can go ahead and view that on the front end of your website. You can see here we've got the color now in the layered navigation on the left. And when we view the t-shirt, you can see I now have the color attributes there and when I select one the t-shirt changes to blue and if I select purple it will change back so that concludes the color swatches thank you for watching hope this has been helpful